Hey guys, Brandon and Laura here. We are watching Monday Night Raw live from the Spectrum Center in Charlotte, North Carolina. The Labor Day episode of Monday Night Raw. Um, right out of the gate, we have main event Jey Uso making his Monday Night Raw debut. Should be a really, really good episode. Um, looks like the Judgment Day is going to be here. We have Chad Gable versus Gunther for the Intercontinental Championship. If Gunther wins, he breaks Honky Tonk Man's record. But um, let's go. Okay, right out of the gate, main event Jey Uso comes down to the ring. While he's out there, before he can, well, he says a little bit to the crowd, welcomes him to Monday Night Raw. Sami Zayn comes out. He ends up confronting Jey Uso. They end up hugging it out as they're leaving down to the ring. Drew McIntyre and Riddle come out. They both stare down Jey Uso. They both have history with the bloodline. Sami Zayn kind of had to separate those two. But anyway, I thought it was a really cool nod saying that Cody Rhodes used to be an EVP, executive vice president, somewhere else. And therefore, he was able to pull off getting Jey over on Raw. But anyway, up next, we have Drew McIntyre and Matt Riddle against the Viking Raiders in a tornado tag match i don't know who to predict I, i'm going to predict mcintyre and riddle win this one um who knows though but let's follow along and let's watch and let's enjoy okay your winners by pinfall the viking raiders they got the win because kofi kingston came out tried to help mcintyre and riddle and it backfired bad so, I, I don't know if they're going to tease McIntyre turning heel. I could see that happening. I hope it does happen. But up next, the World Heavyweight Champion Seth frickin' Rollins is on his way out to the ring. Adam Pearce backstage said that Rollins wasn't even supposed to be there, let alone cleared. Rollins said he's fine, so let's see what's going to happen. All right, guys, so Seth frickin' Rollins came out, challenged Shinsuke Nakamura to a World Heavyweight Championship, and Shinsuke said, no. No? No. They ended up brawling on the outside, though, till Ricochet broke it up. And now we have Shinsuke versus Ricochet in a match. I'm going to predict Shin will win this to further his feud with Rollins. No idea, though. But, Willie, let's find out. Okay, your winner by DQ, Ricochet. Shinsuke attacked him with the chair. Afterwards, Rollins came out. Separate, you know, all the security, referees, everything separated him, even though Rollins went on a rampage and attacked them all. Um, I think that Shinsuke and Rollins are not done. I think they'll fight at the next pay-per-view. I'm not sure exactly which one that is, if it's Fastlane or another one. But it looks like Shayna Baszler and Zoe Stark are going to have a match tonight. Stark or Starks? <coughs> Excuse me. I actually think that Zoe could win this. I think she could be a big star. But Judgment Day are on their way to the ring right now, so let's see what happens. So Judgment Day comes out. In my opinion, they are the most dominant faction in WWE right now, especially what's going on with the Bloodline. But JD McDonough comes out and tells Damien he no longer needs that briefcase. He gives him a brand new purple Senior Money in the Bank briefcase. I think it looks pretty cool. He is wrestling, J.D. McDonough is wrestling Sami Zayn tonight. I really hope J.D. McDonough joins Judgment Day if it makes him stronger, a stronger faction. I think he's really, really trying to impress Judgment Day to um, join him. But we'll find out what happens. Up next, Zoe Starks versus Shayna Baszler. I am predict. I don't know if I already said this or not. I can't remember. But I think Zoe could very well win this. Then again, with Shayna beating Ronda and running her out of the WWE, wouldn't be surprised if she won too. So let's find out who's going to win. All right, Shayna Baszler puts Zoe Stark to sleep and gets the victory. Up next, we have Raquel Rodriguez. I actually said it right instead of stuttering a million times like I did for Payback the other night. But she's taking on one half of the WWE Women's Champions. Chelsea Green. I think Raquel wins this and wins it in dominant fashion unless Piper Niven interferes, but we'll find out. 
Your winner, Raquel G Rodriguez. My bad. Raquel Rodriguez. She said that she talked to Adam Pierce, and next week she has her big rematch against Rhea Ripley for the Women's World Championship, and Dirty Dom is banned from ringside. But I really like how in between segments they're honoring all of the former Intercontinental Champions, like Ultimate Warrior, Pedro Morales, Mr. Perfect, Bret the Hitman Hart, Eddie Guerrero, Honky Tonk Man. I think it's really cool. I think Gunther has added a lot of prestige to the Intercontinental title, but up next we have Miz TV. No idea who his special guest is, but we'll find out. All right, the guest of Miz TV, the 16-time world champion, John Cena. Great guest. I couldn't see him anywhere, though. You know how that is. You know, Cena, you can't see him. But up next we have Sami Zayn versus JD McDonough, I think. But, um... Not sure how to predict this. I could totally see Sammy getting the win over the newcomer J.D. McDonough. Then again, I could see J.D. McDonough getting the win to impress Judgment Day, therefore possibly joining Judgment Day. So, ought to be an interesting match. So, let's see what happens. Your winner by pinfall, J.D. McDonough. He gets the 1-2-3 with the help of Dominic Mysterio afterwards. Sami Zayn starts to beat down Dominic, and J.D. McDonough pushes him out of the way and takes a haluba kick for him. I think J.D. McDonough should join Judgment Day at this point. A lot of people might disagree with me, but if it keeps the faction together, I'm all for it. I'd rather they become stronger than fall apart. But anyway, up next we have the main event Intercontinental Championship match between Gunther and Chad Gable. I think that... Gunther walks out as the IC champ, and I think not only is he going to break Honky Tonk Man's record 434-day reign, but I think he's going to go to WrestleMania as the Intercontinental Champion. Um, maybe even wrestle Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania 40. No idea, just a wild guess. You know how it is. It's wrestling. But um, let's see what happens in the main event. Your winner and still Intercontinental Champion, Gunther. Great match. Him and Chad Gable have a lot of great chemistry together. So it looks like it's going to be official. Gunther has or already or will pass Honky Tonk Man to become the longest IC champion in history. Great Monday Night Raw. We really appreciate you watching. Please like, subscribe, share, check out all our other videos, and we will see you on the next one.